Today, I'm gonna to take you on my journey to the South Pole. Now, I realize that for most intrepid explorers, this would involve some sort of a grueling expedition in the most hostile and harsh environment on the planet. But for me, unknowingly, this journey started way back in 2012-13, when I spent a year traveling around the world, visiting 18 countries and six continents. It was during this year that my love for photography grew and grew and before I returned home in 2013 I had declared to my family that I was going to invest in some more camera gear and take photography more seriously. Within four years I had found myself a full-time position at Time and Tide Africa as their in-house photographer and videographer, working in some of the most remote areas in both Zambia and Madagascar. I have also worked in Mozambique with the incredible conservation organisation African Parks and now, almost 10 years after setting out on this journey, I find myself on my first ever business class flight. Yep, it's safe to say my camera and I have had some crazy adventures to give over the years and now we're off to create content for a fantastic company called White Desert on my seventh and final continent on Earth, Antarctica. I'm always told how lucky I am to do this for a living and I agree. I'm very fortunate. I never take what I do for granted. Even in those challenging days, I make sure to be grateful for where I am and what I'm doing. But it's always also important to remind myself that the harder I've worked, the luckier I've become. So I guess my message is this. If you have a dream, then go chase it because your dreams will very rarely chase you. Let's pick up this particular adventure at 36,000 feet, around 15,000 kilometers south of Cape Town. Well, hello everybody and welcome to a very special photography adventure. I've just left the business class section here of the flight and come to what you can see is a very, very empty economy section. We're about an hour and 15 minutes away from landing at the moment and what's going to happen when we're about half an hour away from landing, there'll be an announcement and that is a signal for us to all start changing into our polar clothing so that we are ready to step off the plane into the harsh environments of Antarctica. In order to stop us from overheating, we will lower the temperature in the cabin as much as they possibly can. And then from there, we will walk down the steps and onto Antarctica. At the moment, it's starting to feel like a sort of Neil Armstrong-like event, this small step for man, giant leap for mankind. I'm very excited to step onto my seventh continent and yeah, get this adventure started. I've also just been told that it looks like tomorrow there's a gap in the weather and I will be going to the South Pole, which is just insane. I can't wait to get shooting. You're going to hear from me again very soon, probably when I start to get changed into all my polar clothing. Let's go. Okay, we are in Antarctica and we're about to get off the plane and stand on the continent for the first ever time. Here we go, let's go to Antarctica. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. And there it was, my first footsteps on Antarctica. It really did feel incredible to be here. The air felt so crisp and fresh. Everywhere I looked, I saw photographs in this new place. I immediately got to work and captured a few images of the plane before heading to the mess tent to see what the plans were. So our initial plan was to land in Wolfsfang and then jump onto a smaller plane for a 20 minute flight to Witchaway Camp. But with the weather looking good at the South Pole, instead, we were going to spend the night in these beautiful accommodations at Wolfsfang Runway and then head to the South Pole the following morning. Well, I've just had dinner with the guests across in the mess tent here. It's about one o'clock in the morning in Cape Town, about 11 o'clock in the evening here in Antarctica. 
Uh, the sun is still streaming through the windows and it will be doing for the whole night. Uh, what I need to do tonight is prepare for tomorrow's trip to the South Pole. I'll give you more details on that tomorrow, but basically I need to pack a bag now and get ready for an early start in the morning. And then we've got some flights, lots of adventures, not too much sleep, lots of photography and cold weather. I'm going to try now to sort my bags out, try and get some rest, ready for tomorrow's massive, massive adventure to the South Pole. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good morning everybody and welcome back to a very bright Antarctica. Um, I've still got no idea how the sun has managed to go across here when it was here. So it must have come across, I don't know what the sun does here, I've got no idea what the sun does here. I'm not sure if you can see on the camera but it's got this permanent crystal halo around the sun since we got here. It's so nice, let me try and show you now. Does that even show up on the camera? Probably not. I don't think it shows up on the camera but I will show you a couple of photographs to show you what I mean. So we are up, it's about 7 o'clock in the morning and now I've had some breakfast and some coffee and it's time to get ready for the first flight towards the South Pole which is going to be a five hour flight in one of these smaller planes, I forget the name of it. A five hour flight down to 83 degrees south, a quick refuel and then a two hour flight to the South Pole. It's going to be a very tiring, very long, very exhausting day and on top of that I'm trying to capture it all in photograph and video. So wish me luck and let's go. We've uh, taken the short trip in the 4x4 vehicle across to the plane here behind me which I think is called a Bassler. So this is a plane that we're going to be taking to the South Pole. We're going to do five hours, then a refuel, and then two hours to the South Pole. So let's get this party started and get on the plane. After leaving Wolfsfang and heading south, for the first 30 minutes or so you skim over mountain tops and then it really is hour upon hour of vast open ice as far as the eye can see. Well we have now arrived at 83 degrees south at the Dixie's camp which is just behind me behind the plane over here. Uh, we're going to be here for about 40 minutes before we then head on to the next stage which is about a two and a half hour flight to the South Pole. The temperature here is considerably colder than when we were back at Wolfsfang camp. This is um, about minus 20 at the moment so it's probably the coldest temperatures I've ever experienced. But yo, what a wilderness this is. Oh, so cold. Yeah, so this is where we'll be staying this evening after we return from the South Pole. And that's one of the things I've just been thinking about now is that I'm just having to remind myself that in about three hours time I'm going to be at possibly the most remote place on Earth, the South Pole. I never ever thought I would ever go to the South Pole. And here I am on a journey with my camera taking me to the very most southern point on Earth. And I'm still just trying to get my head around that fact. It's a, it's a pretty special feeling actually. Whew. Wow. This is just insane. It wasn't long before we were back in the air and admiring the vastness of Antarctica on our last leg south. Soon, if we went any further, we'd be heading north, which is a kind of strange thing to get your head around. After landing, we layered up and got ready to embrace the elements. After a quick briefing from our guide Alesh, we headed over to the ceremonial South Pole which displays the flags of the nations in the Antarctic Treaty. I was also sure to grab those important shots of the clients and the staff at this unique location. Ladies and 
ladies and gentlemen, I am officially at the geographic South Pole. Woo! <laughs> How did it feel to stand here? In short, it was fantastic, but at the same time I felt like a fraud compared to the explorers who had come before me. Having said that, every journey is personal. The South Pole had always felt so unattainable that it was never even on my bucket lists, but as I stood here, I felt proud. I had taken a gamble all those years ago, eager to make my dreams come true. There had been many highs and lows, many doubts, so yeah, I did feel proud. Everyone's journey was different, and this was mine, but the South Pole isn't my end destination. I don't have one. So let's go onwards to the next adventure. The guests are just behind me at the geographical South Pole at the moment. Whew. It's about minus 32 degrees apparently. It doesn't feel too bad right now, but as soon as there's exposed skin, you can feel it just starting to nip with the frost. Uh, we're probably going to be here for around another hour or so, depending on how cold people get. Behind me on this side is the scientific base. All my gear is freezing up. The zoom on the camera hardly even twists around. Uh, my batteries are dying super, super fast. But yeah, I am standing at the South Pole. Absolute magic. Well, that's us now successfully back to Dixie's camp. It's about minus 22. Heading to the tent now to dump my stuff. It is about 10 o'clock in the evening. Despite the sunshine, it's 10 o'clock in the evening. Um, it's gonna be pretty chilly in the tent, but we've got nice warm sleeping bags. Whew. We'll get a few hours sleep here, and then we'll wake up and head back to Wolf's Fang tomorrow morning. And then on to Witchaway camp. So I'm going to try and get some sleep and probably check you guys in the morning. Not much battery left on any of my cameras. So I'm very much looking forward to recharging all the gear. Oh. Okay, it's time to try and get some sleep. And yes, that is snow right next to me. That is frost on the tent. But hopefully this sleeping bag is going to keep me nice and warm. Good night. Oh, good morning everybody. Managed to get a few minutes sleep last night I'm sure. Um, waking up feeling pretty tired but not too bad at all. And now it's time to get onto the plane. It's around about uh, maybe half past seven in the morning here now. Time to jump on the plane and head back to Wolfsfang camp. Uh, I'm not sure where we're going to pick up the vlog next, but I don't think I'm going to document too much of the flight as we've already got lots of that material going on. Oh, that is cold in the face. So yeah, we'll pick up this. So yeah, we'll pick up the vlog somewhere a little bit further north from here. Whew, it's a fresh morning. Well, after the five hour flight north, we arrived back at Wolfsfang and the temperatures here were a little bit more bearable. Uh, here we are on the back of the skidoo, just making our way from the ski way back in towards camp. And after getting in, settling into my room, having some dinner, I noticed some beautiful golden light outside. So I headed out to grab a few shots. So the golden light actually lasts for quite a few hours here, but what I wanted to grab was those amazing cloud formations. I set up my camera, found some compositions, and here's what I captured. Let me grab you here. 
I've just been out taking some what I think are very very cool self-portraits with the Wolf's Fang mountain range in behind me and me standing there sort of backlit by the sun. So I think I've got one or two cool selfies which will also work as great marketing shots hopefully for uh, White Desert. It's now probably, whoosh, I don't know, around 10 p.m. Around 10 p.m. now uh, and I think the plan for tomorrow is to try and go and see the penguins and we're leaving here at 10 a.m. So potential for some decent night's sleep here but I'm probably going to be up and about during the night taking some photos, checking the light. I'm going to try and unload some memory cards now but hopefully we'll be checking up with you tomorrow and the weather's going to be good enough to go and see some emperor penguins which as you can imagine is going to be one of my highlights of this whole adventure. So I'll check you guys on the other side. And on that note, I will call an end to this South Pole adventure. If you don't want to miss out on next week's adventure where I go to Atka Bay to photograph emperor penguins, please drop down, click on that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload that video. If you like this video, then please do drop down, give it a like and leave a comment. It's always nice to hear from you guys and it really does help to push these videos out to a larger audience. And as always, Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure and I shall see you very soon on the next one.